my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about Facebook ads versus organic right so should you and when should you be using Facebook ads or when should you be using organic and we're going to obviously explain a little bit what that is in case you don't know or in case you want uh anyways whatever we're going to talk about it I just want you to know there is either of them are great and depending on who you talk to obviously there's different reasons to use one or the other so I'm going to let you know what my thoughts are and why I use them and we're going to get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so what is best? And you know, when we're talking about course creation or generating course income, there's so many different things that you need to learn. And one of them is, you know, should you be doing uh, ads? Should you be spending money on ads or should you be doing organic? And either of them have their pros and cons and we're going to get into those things um and but before we do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis393.jsgagnon.com because I'm going to be sharing my screen and I'm going to be you know obviously in the blog post there's going to be more information but yeah you got to go check that out all right so let's get right to it I'm going to go and start by sharing my screen here and show you you know this is Facebook right the Facebook feed you have the feed right there you've got posts you will see content so when we go through this you see this one here is a sponsored ad this one over here is a sponsored as well right so you might think well because these people are making ads that's what we need to do because I want to get in front of these uh you know I want to be in in the news feed of my friends right of my of my lead of my how can I say of my see there's another ad right here there's ads all over the place right all the time every two or three posts are ads right so you might be thinking this is another ad right here you might be thinking that you have to do ads and I'm not going to say you shouldn't do ads because it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish and also it, uh, it depends on a couple other things so let me uh go back to so me for example right I'm doing a little bit of ads right like a dollar 40 I got four or five of them running right now well this one here is a 50 it'll finish in a when does it finish can I see when it finishes oh no this is I'd have to edit it anyways whatever it finishes soon so that's why I kind of did the exact same ad but at a dollar 40 a day so it stays active but so I got you know four ads right and sometimes I have more sometimes I have less sometimes I don't have any ads for a while and it really depends on uh, what I'm trying to accomplish in that moment right right now I did a couple episodes where I talked about doing Facebook ads where I talk about creating videos from Canva you can go back and go check those other episodes out where I show you exactly how to do those things but today I want to kind of talk about the difference right so why would you do organic and why would you do ads and let's just uh actually I should have probably prepared a notebook here but let me just go in here and just create one new text document notes all right so <laughs> why one or the other right so let's go back over here put that here so so why I think I might still have my buffer do I yes it is which is best right organic or Facebook ads so which is best <laughs> you might be thinking one is better than the other right and it really depends on your goals and I'll you know I'll say this again you know I'm not a total expert in the sense that I'm I have an opinion this is my opinion I might you might hear different people say different things but this is my feeling from my experience from the the times I've used both and why I use one or the other and this is kind of you know also kind of what I heard sometimes and that I agree with and uh, things like that right so number one number one neither is best that's that's like neither is best <laughs> overall right neither of them is best because both of them have drawbacks so uh, drawbacks drawbacks right drawbacks to ads right so money 
costs money right it costs money right drawback to ads it costs money um growth stops if if you stop ads mostly right so those are the drawbacks of ads um and then you know it's it's kind of complicated to figure out uh confusing confusing to whoops con confusing let's make this a little bit bigger because it's kind of small confusing let's make this a bit bigger. there you go confusing right to learn all the ways you you can you can do ads right so if you don't do the ads right it's not gonna be very good right it's not gonna work you're gonna be wasting money and I've done that believe me I've done that I've done ads that well you know they didn't really accomplish anything except that there's some silver lining to that um you know I've learned lots and I've also grown my audience every time I did ads there's always some people that you know start to notice me more right even though those people might not some of them might not stick around but there's a couple that did and you know that's the thing you got to kind of measure how much it costs you to get a new customer or a new fan with ads you got to kind of measure that right so the drawbacks on um, drawbacks to organic oh and by the way when I talk about ads versus organic when I'm talking about organic and you, and you probably already know this but organic is the process of posting yourself right using your phone to post or maybe even hiring a virtual assistant to do it for you so it's all about posting on your timeline or on your page right <clears throat> the, the other thing too oh right that's another drawback to ads uh must have a page to create ads right you have to have a page you can't just use your profile whereas with organic you can choose to just use your profile the problem with organic and this is my like again it's my perception it's my my belief right so for me the drawback to organic is you need lots of time you have to have lots of time to do it and that's not always true but it's mostly true because I mean seriously you're going to be on Facebook to post and to create content and to engage with people and to do all these different things that's what organic's about organic is posting it's commenting it's reacting it's going to other people's profiles it's looking at their posts it's commenting on their stuff it's commenting on people's comments on your stuff all those things that's what organic is so it you know it doesn't take two seconds a day to do right whereas an ad you can set it up it'll take you a bit but then that's it every single day it doesn't take you any time but it costs money right so that's the difference so you need time for organic you need money for ads right and that's really that's really the difference if you have money to spend on ads and you have no time to do organic then you you're gonna have to do ads because you know what else are you gonna do unless you hire a VA which is another option right drawback for organic needs lots of time or or need to hire someone right so it's either you need time or money right so you need money right you need money here if you're going to be hiring somebody you got to pay them right but you know there's some ways where you can get uh VAs that are in countries that uh there's their cost of living is lower so it costs you less to hire them I mean you you can find VAs that'll that you can find VAs for like four to to, to eight dollars an hour versus hiring them in the U.S. for twenty dollars an hour right so that's the thing it's possible it's possible to find I actually had a VA that I hired for oh geez a year or even a year and a half I think I was paying her four dollars an hour she was doing you know she was posting and then engaging on stuff on my Facebook on my Instagram things like that um and you know it, it it was instead of me doing it right okay so the other thing uh the other thing uh, it's probably don't need the number one there right neither is best right drawbacks to organic so now benefits 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 to ads right benefits to ads set and forget right you can set it and forget but it does take time to prepare but the time to prepare a Facebook ad is pretty close to the time it takes to prepare a post right the difference is that with an ad you also have to go through the process of approval and you have to decide on a budget and then you have to kind of watch it so you kind of monitor it whereas when you do a post you just post and kind of forget about it right other than engaging on their con on the comments and things right 
so um so that's kind of that's kind of the benefits that has I guess benefits benefits to organic right benefits to organic um set you you don't well what's what how can I explain that so you don't need to uh think as much not not as much as much thought in content right I mean I that's not really true you still should be doing good content but still in terms of like you know you don't have to you don't no worries about approval no worries about approval approval right that's too easy. no worries about approval for example right so whereas with benefit to ads I guess that's kind of in the not really a drawback but I guess it's a maybe it does fall in the drawbacks right growth stops to stop ads confusing to learn you must have a, full, a page um so need so uh, worrying worrying about approval right worrying about approval that's definitely in the ads negatives I guess but once you get good at it you you don't it's and once you understand more about what uh Facebook approves or not it becomes easier to create ads that get approved like for me right if I go to these ads these ads have been approved uh yesterday they've been running for does it show you I don't really think I guess I'd have to do, look at a chart let's see look at this chart here yeah so 28 right so they've been running for for a few days now so two days they they were approved on the 28th they just had a few results on the first day but you know 24 20 per day right then the cost per result right um if I go to say the other one you chart so this one started on the 20th as well 27 results 20 results cost per result right here is four cents per result now so it depends on the, I mean you, you gotta wait for a few days to find out what the real results are right so if I look at the uh, Eric one so you know lots of results on a, on this day well there's what what is what's the number here uh 12 20 and so far today seven four cents right so the price so we'll see how the price goes over time but these are ads that I talked about in my previous uh blog post right I talked about the whole idea of creating a net a, a video from Canva right so let's just kind of go back well actually I'm going to show you the videos <laughs> I think I have them in here <laughs> oh no I don't have them here uh let me go up, <clears throat> up here it's over in the leaders the leaders the videos okay so these are the videos I did <laughs> and uh, let me just kind of show you so like with Brent Richard Branson Eric Orr. so I have a video like this right oh I'm gonna pause it and bring it over here so the video starts like this right and let's turn the sound on turn the webcam off I'm going to turn the webcam off and the sound on of the video so you can kind of hear what this video is Let's move it up here there okay so there's that there you go now here's to the crazy ones the misfits the rebels the troublemakers the round pegs in the square holes the ones who see things differently they're not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo you can quote them disagree with them glorify or vilify them about the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things they push the human race forward while some may see them as the crazy ones we see genius because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do So that's the video there that's one video and and the way I did these videos is I have you, you see how there's a different a bunch of different people in the video and I'm kind of last well these other videos are the same except they start with a different person so you know this one here starts with Russell this one here starts with Gary Vee this one here starts with Tony Robbins this one starts with uh, Richard Branson this one with Eric Corey right so they start at different and then what I did is I posted those and now I've got these ads going that will that will 
you know, hopefully grow a little bit of people getting to kind of know me a little bit because I'm part of that series of, you know, leaders. And the idea is that if they see this video enough, if they see different versions of it, or maybe they see, I'm going to have to do other things, but they grow, you grow your fan base by the fact that you're in the series of, of, uh, of leaders, right? Obviously, I don't know how good this video is. Maybe I need to make it a little bit better because you know how this text is kind of going kind of weird. But at the same time, it's one of those things that maybe people will actually like. I don't know. We'll see. But I have to run it for probably a week or two, right, to see how that works. But that's one of the things you can do as ads. But I also did, if I go to my page, so I have these videos here, right? I got 25 engagements here, 107 people reached. This one I had four, 21 reached. This one I had 27, 112 reached. And that's only because I did them um so, so some of these are ads right but I did them just a couple bucks a, a dollar a day right so this is 31 people reached still 20 32 reached right and then of then of course I have my regular stuff that I post all the time and that's on my page right on my page I have these things on my page and on my main profile if I go to my personal profile uh, right now I don't have any uh thing on my cover photo but I will eventually because I'm still growing my list of you know my fans or the the people that are uh growing my audience right I'm still deciding on what I'm actually going to sell because that's one thing that's really important is you got to know what what are you going to be selling right and I posted these here too right I just shared them from my page and um I don't know it doesn't even, nobody even commented or anything on them right but I didn't ask people to comment either there's one like here is that me no that's blessing for, I don't know who that is right but I mean I can like them myself right and that sometimes helps with engagement uh not always but that's definitely one of the things that I've learned over the years is that sometimes if you engage on your own stuff you'll you know sometimes we'll get a notification somebody will get a notification and say jean search you know commented on, on his post right or liked his post or whatever right so you can do that um but you know ads versus okay so we go back let's go back right to is it ads do we do ads or do we do organic right so the answer to that is it depends so the real answer right neither is best the answer don't you just you know hate that answer <laughs> is it depends right it depends it depends on what what does it depend on right it depends so it depends on how much time you have and how much money you have so that's one thing definitely right it depends on how much time you have to create organic posts and how much money you have to do ads right the other thing you have to realize is that just throwing a bunch of money on ads without actually thinking it through and having the right kind of content and the right kind of uh, posts and the right kind of things is not going to get you a good result you're not going to get a good result you really have to have you know you got to think through what is it you're trying to accomplish you got to think through what is your end goal and this is true for organic or 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 uh, ads so both let's just say both whoops both require whoops both require you to so one know your target audience right you got to know your target audience. you got to know your offer you got to know your avatar avatar so for for you to create ads or even uh the, you know organic content you need to know what are you trying to you know what's your offer right so what's your offer what are you trying to sell right what is your offer so and this is the thing so what what are you selling right and what will they achieve from it right and so that is kind of you have to like when I when I say you got to know your offer I'm not saying you got to know what you're selling you know I'm selling a supplement right I'm selling a, a paint I'm selling you know uh, uh services to to print pictures from Facebook right that's not that's not what your 
what you are selling the physical thing of what you're selling is not what we're talking about here we're talking about what will they get out of it right if you're selling paint well they're going to get the feeling of of you know accomplishment and having something some some people get the practice in and get people to actually um sh you know think that they are doing awesome and like the feeling of accomplishment the feeling of others thinking you're doing great right if you sell um printing services for Facebook pictures for then you're going to get this the, the the feeling of how amazing it would be to give a gift of a calendar with pictures of your life right how, how much your your uh, grandmother or your grandchildren would love that right to get those things <clears throat> so that's kind of what what are you selling what are you selling what is the feeling the emotion that you're going to get from using uh, your service right same thing with a product right if you're selling weight loss products you're not selling the pills or the loss of weight you're selling the accomplishment accomplishment of whatever they're going to get out of it so that means that if you know that they struggle to lose weight because they're they're bombarded with you know junk food all the time and they their spouse eats chips and all these different things and you have a, a supplement well maybe it's not the supplement you're selling you're selling them some sort of guide or some sort of you know mastermind jo joining some sort of mastermind to to get their mind straight those kinds of things right so to accomplish something right so that's so that's what the, when I say know your target audience right I'm not talking about knowing um <laughs> you know where they live or things like that that's part of it but it's knowing know your avatar right know your avatar know you know what their age age is know whether they went to college or not or university know whether they have kids or not know which city they live in what country they live in an avatar is a single person that way when you do content you can speak to that person and I know I know you might feel like well if I speak to this one person then what about all the other people that might be interested in my thing aren't they aren't you know aren't I alienating them and the thing is partly you want to alienate the people that aren't your target market right because they might need a different kind of post they might need a different kind of ad they might need a different kind of text what we call copy right so you got to make sure that whatever you're so that's why you target an avatar right one single person but the thing is that you have to realize that your avatar is one person there's millions of that one person <laughs> out there so whenever you're doing the ads you're targeting that one person but you're going to get a ton of still you're going to get a lot of traction because it's very finely tuned to them right so me I'm creating these these tools right to grow your audience to uh, to understand how to build on Facebook organically without spending money without wasting all your time on on the tire kickers or the people that aren't really interested in what you've got or the ones that don't have any money right so I'm I have tools that help with that right so what am I what am I help what am I promoting right it's not it's not you know a piece of software that you install I'm not going to talk about that really I'm going to talk about what does it give somebody they you regain your time by using a tool that isn't going to take all of your time away it's going to help you to focus on the people that are actually interested in your stuff and finding them on Facebook is not easy when you're doing it manually organically right but what if you could have a tool that helped you find those people organically still engage with them organically so no no ad spend but you're spending a lot less time wasted on people who won't be interested in your stuff who aren't your target market or aren't even active on Facebook right so that's kind of what I am offering right or one of the things I'm offering anyways and that's kind of what I'm focused on right now so know your avatar that means that means oh I guess I, I put that as a second thing right target arc, target audience okay know your avatar I guess in your audience it would be it would be their interests interests right uh their age <laughs> their age group their language and their their location right their location so that's kind of the uh, the in Facebook anyways when you're posting you you choose your target audience based on those metrics which are demographics they're not what an avatar is right so your avatar is um their specific age right 
the, the color of their their hair and eyes right um their education education level whoops right their education level um if they have kids their kids right so those kinds of things are part of your avatar so the reason why you need to know those things is because when you're going to create a piece of content to attract somebody who's got kids well you you're not going to talk about you know living the life in 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 Florida on March break or whatever um you know with your all your, your pals from college or whatever because you're like they're older than that they have kids they're home they're you're going to talk about you know what if you're don't you just love it when your kids are quiet and they're learning things and and you know imagine you being able to find the time when your kids are you know doing some crafts you can take a few minutes just a few minutes instead of spending a whole day on your app you take a few minutes and go and engage on two or three people then you go back to what they're doing and those two people you're engaging on are actually interested in your stuff or stuff that you have to offer because you found them using a tool right so that's the kind of stuff that you can do when we're talking about your um your avatar and your target audience and so when I when I do my ads right I want to make sure that they are targeted to people that are interested so this for example this video I did here let's go to Canva let me show you kind of what that looks like Canva. if I go to Canva and look at the different uh, recent designs I did I hope they, these are all leaders whatever let's do uh let's say system with Eric worry so let's go to Eric worry right so this design here is basically what I did is I did a, an image right I did an image here I did some text and then I did another image with additional text right then I did another image of somebody else with some text and I did another the same image but with more text so I did that for all the different leaders and then when you save it as a video well you have to add some some music to it I recorded this crazy ones I, I narrated it myself from uh, from uh, Steve Jobs right from Apple um, and I just put that in there as sound I also added music to it I used my phone to use um, royalty free music and you know I'm not saying that's the best thing in the world but it's still you know it's a 50 second video 50 almost 52 seconds and it's something that I can post on Facebook and it's to my target market like my this this ad here the one that has the video that starts with Eric Worre is targeted towards Eric Worre fans so if I go to my ads manager right here you can see this is crazy ones can I if I go here can I see the oh I guess you can if you go here to the uh campaign demographics I can see this uh 88 percent women or I didn't choose that but anyways so this is men but my is there a place where I can see delivery what is that let me go okay I don't know if I can see anywhere without editing it I guess I guess I'd have to edit the ad to see the actual audience I chose um any crazy ones Eric so no so uh anyways I did an ad and I chose an audience that's Eric if I go back to my audiences here uh, this is the ad I, <laughs> the audience I use I created an audience a saved audience I gave it location my top five U.S uh English speaking countries the age 24 to 60 the language English people who match this right people who, who are interested in uh, Eric War and motivational speaker and influencer market and personal development so I did that and that's what I'm targeting right so I'm taking that and I'm targeting that for this video the other video I did Gary fans whoops come on let's go over here I did Gary fans it's a very similar audience except that interest is Gary Vaynerchuk and that's one of the cool things you can do on social media I can actually target Gary's fans or people who are interested in Gary I you I used to be able to target Tony fans but I guess that doesn't work anymore uh there you can't have Tony Robbins as an interest it's just apparently it doesn't work I don't know why I guess they decided to take him out or he decided he didn't want I don't know how that works right but anyways you can't target Tony Robbins anymore for some reason um but the point is that you're targeting different people with different 
interests based on what you're doing and also based on what your ad is right also then when I did as I created whoops it's not here I created a where is it crazy ones three second custom audience right not still below a thousand because it's only been a few days but basically this is everybody who sees at least three seconds of one of those videos and I didn't just do the ones I did ads for just all the videos I posted because I did like five or six of them where they're di they started with different people right and that's kind of how I did that so that's for ads right for ads now what am I what am I promoting right what am I promoting I'm promoting this tool here I'm going to kind of show you a little bit so basically this is active group users and it lets you enter um it lets you enter groups that your target market is hanging out in right for me it's about attraction marketing personal branding course creation those kinds of things people are interested in creating courses people are interested in online branding they they want to reach out to people so these are you know some of the groups I put in here you can put a certain number of groups depending on the plan but basically when you start it it goes and fetches people in those groups that are actually active so if I click on view data here um I don't know how good I think there might be some debugging for here and stuff yet basically I see these people from these different groups that actually did some commenting I can uh can I put the comment I want to put the post I guess I'm not sure what why that's not I probably have to fix oh there you go yeah so the post and the comment right so this is this is the post that they posted and this is a comment that happened on that post right so this is the same post but different comments so it basically picks up the people who actually engaged on the post see this is two days ago seven hours ago yesterday seven hours ago that's when they commented on those posts or posted the posts and this is who posted it so the thing is that if you're doing organic right if you're doing organic you need a way to reach the best people right the best people some people say go in groups and go engage in groups and that kind of stuff and that's great you can do that but that takes a lot of time and this tool helps you minimize the amount of time that you spend on people who aren't going to be interested or people who aren't even active on Facebook right you can go to Facebook and you can go comment on one of the posts in the group and maybe you'll get a relationship going with them but if they don't post if they don't post anything on Facebook on their personal profile it's kind of hard to build something because you don't know what they're about you don't know what they're interested in you know you don't know who they are you don't know what's their what what yeah where what their interests are right and that's why this tool lets you see who is it that's actually active if I click on any of these right it kind of pops up a little thing with the post I don't know why the colors are messed up here but uh you know this this is the the post and the comment and down here I can actually say well I went to their profile I click on this it opens up their profile and I can actually engage on their on their posts and I can actually record that I engage on their posts like right now I can say um engagement let's see well, they dared me to come up with post ideas to share to attract engagement and sale I created 30 ideas anyone wants them and then I'm just say yes yes send them send it over and then this is what well, an example of this is a person here it's Stacey Hall she's actually an attraction marketer she posts about building business online so she's actually one of my target markets because she's in my groups that I'm searching right so then over here I'm going to come here I'm going to say I comment on one post I reacted on one post I'm going to save this updates now it says right here if I go back to Stacy where is she right here it says that I engage with her right now and now it shows me that I did 10 uh visits to her profile these are visits and then reactions anyway so it's all very but still once you get used to the tool it's pretty uh simple to go through I uh, this these numbers that are shown up here is basically how many visits to different profiles I do every day how many reactions how many comments and the total for the last 30 days things like that that's all uh kind of there's debug here but anyways um so yeah so that's what I'm promoting right so now I have to come up with ideas to build to get more people engaged using this interested in this tool to reach out and maybe I I need to create a uh, you know all sorts of different things about what people get out of using this tool right that's kind of what I have to do 
and you need to do the same thing with whatever you're trying to promote and you need to decide whether you want to do ads or or organic right so do you want to do ads or do you want to do organic right neither is best the answer is depends it depends on how much time you have and how much money you have if you have lots of money you can do ads if you have lots of time you can do organic either one will get you the engagement but if you don't have if you don't know who it is you're trying to target if you don't know what their pains are you don't know what their um their pleasures are what they want out of life then it's really hard to create content that they're going to be attracted to that's that's a whole other topic and right attraction marketing personal branding those kinds of things but that's that's where it happens it's you got to create content whether it's ads or and or organic it's basically the same thing all right so hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.